morning everybody we had a little bit of rain delay it put us off day but we're gonna attempt to shell corn today we uh, have the corn there at the Wagner farm left to do a little bit left in the back there and uh, grandpa he's putting fuel in the dirt match right now I told him while he's doing that I'll get a bail but uh, when I get back we're gonna run over to the Mugi farm get the tractor and grain cart and uh, move it to Wagner's because we're gonna need it to move all the corn out because we're in the back corner. And we need something to bring it out because we can't get the trucks back there because it rains. So we're gonna take the cart. And then when we get done there, we're gonna move to the Ayers farm. Probably get it opened up. Just depends how we get along at Wagner's. We should be able to get it done today, but should be don't mount for much. Yeah, when we get back from doing that, we're gonna feed a bale of hay, then kind of work around home here till dinner. And after dinner, we're gonna go because the elevator don't open until noon anyway. So I'm pretty sure one of the trucks is full, but both of them maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get the cart moved down there. I'm probably gonna pick corn. Grandpa's gonna haul. I'll probably pick, fill the cart, then I'll go dump, then I'll come back, fill the cart again, and go dump again. Just running two of us today, cause there ain't no need to get the hired man. The corn ain't that. I got that much to do, so we don't need a guy on the combine, a guy on the cart, and a guy on the truck. Cause heck, we're just hauling down the road, so no need guys just sitting around waiting. We can kind of make it work between the two of us. We will have before, so that's our plan today. But feed this bale, and we'll be good to go. second here. Sunday morning, there was a little more traffic than I figured there'd be. Apparently on Sunday morning, people don't think when they're driving. Have you passed me that eh, it was not the best way to do it. They got pretty dang close. One of them, I pulled over to let one by because I didn't see there's two behind me. Well, one passes me and the other one wasn't coming, so I'm like, all right. So I start pulling out. They come flying past me, about running to my front end good thing I stopped when I did of course I couldn't pull back over because there's a mailbox yeah some people don't think when they're trying to pass quick they're like well this is in my way it's an inconvenience and they decide to pass so you're gonna do that one of these days and you're gonna realize that was a bad idea when you kill somebody or you total something or anything but around farm equipment you got to think Had to do a bit of a jump start. Turn the trucks around that way I, we can load them and still have a straight shot out because we got to take the gravel all around. 
and you'll come under the overpass going to the Grange you can take the bottom road to Bungie's over there so that's the way we're doing because this road's too rough and there's one of them hills and you gotta go so slow the trucks will spin out on them so it's just easier going this way the road ain't too terribly bad and it's actually quicker going through the bottom road because you can go in the bottom road and come out in the bottom road you ain't gotta fight your way through the Grange Right along, we're almost to the Mugi farm. I don't know if we'll park her by the barn or take it all the way back by the head. I imagine we'll take it all the way back, but Grandpa brought the grain platform. We're gonna leave it at the Mugi farm because we have the shoemaker farm to do for us. It's right down the road here. We'll do it, then we'll move on up to the 80, I imagine. We'll just have to see how things get along, but like I said, we're gonna get Wagner's whip today, then we're gonna move on to Ayers. We'll probably open it up today. It just depends on what time everything goes on. It, we had to set our clocks back, so we lost some time. Or we lost some daylight is what happened. And as early as it is when it gets light, there's still dew on. And it's wet as it is, but it's still solid enough we can get around. So we can at least shell corn. Cutting beans is out of the question, but we're going to get corn shelled while we can. If you can run, run. That's, that's kind of the philosophy we go by. Hey, there ain't no point in bringing them back here if we don't have to.
won't be able to run too terribly late, but it gets dark at 6 now, so we don't like driving semis after dark anyway. The freight liner doesn't have very good lights. Peterbilt, I don't know, I ain't never seen it with the lights on. Oh boy, we got some rows that are off here. Ain't my fault because I ain't the one who opened this up. into the corn kind of make some room that way we can pull the semi in and we're going to open that field up and get the trucks dumped and pick as much as we can today the elevator closes at five like i said so we may be able to get at least one load in before they close because we could surely hold it on two trucks it may be a little more than that by the time we get one load out of there we'll be fine we ain't gonna worry about bringing the cart in today we're uh bring it in to probably more than likely tomorrow Got moving to LaGrange. I'm picking corn here. Grandpa's hauling off the truck. And uh, this field's a little tricky to do your end rows because there's a fence line right there and that kind of makes it a pain to plant, especially when there's like almost a one acre patch right over there on the corner. Then there's a patch right here. And whoever owns this did not get all their corn. I guess I'm going to have to clean it up. Take them fall. Yes, the best. Still cleaning good. I ain't got a dang truck. Like I told you, the field's a booger because Grandpa, right in that corner there, backed into the corner and headed north there along the fence row. So I had to pull forward. We can't pull in the bean field because it ain't ours. So I kind of had to angle in a little bit so I could be able to turn and go around then I had to pick out at an angle again so I get straightened out and pick back down here but now that I got picked around everything it should be good there's my truck go back and forth once we get that going it'll be pretty quick getting across here it's the end rows to take time plus this corn's doing really good and I've 
make one pass around the field completely and this is just a nine and a half acre field i made one pass around and i was full so every time i get the end i'd have to dump so we got part of a trailer now i can fit part of a hopper on there but i think he's just gonna go ahead and haul it off it's getting close enough to five that he's just gonna haul it off that way we can fill it well, the Freightliner's full, so we'll probably just fill this truck for tonight and call it. There it goes. I got him loaded down. I still got some on my hopper left, but he didn't want to load it that heavy. I could have got more on there, but he don't like loading it that way, so I don't load it. But I had a dome of yellow when I was coming through here, because I got about, even with where that short pass is, uh, on the short roads over there. Got about right there and my beeper started going saying I was full, but I wasn't backing all the way out. I just kept going and I slowed down a lot when I got to the end here. He was watching me. He was, I think I thought I was going to spill it, but I did not. I've only spilled corn once this year. You got to do it at least once just to prove a point, I guess. 